Good afternoon, members of the public. I wish to bring to the attention of the public about the travesty that has just been placed on the indigenous villages, residents, and population. In Parliament this afternoon, the APNU AFC has voted against the capital budget of in excess of $845 million in equipment to support agriculture, young youth development, that is the reinstatement of the CSOs, transport, that will include the procuring of ATVs, pickup trucks for Amerindian villages. It will also include the projects that are sustainable, that we intend to ensure that the villagers can get back some investment funds into their communities. So what has happened, they voted against the tourism projects, they voted against the economic and productive projects, and they voted against 213 Amerindian villages wanting to deny or attempting to deny these villages their increased presidential grant funding. This afternoon, as we are still in celebrating Amerindian Heritage Month, it is indeed a travesty that the APNU AFC members of parliament can vote against 845 million Guyana dollars intended to bring relief to the Amerindian residents and villagers. A relief that is much needed because over five years, the APNU AFC government has stifled the growth and development of Amerindians. They have denied Amerindians agricultural support. They have denied Amerindian school children of their cash grant and fuel subsidies for getting to school. They have denied the village council of much needed investment funds. For example, they have not um, provided a cycle for the Amerindian Development Fund, a new cycle which ended in 2018 of December, or December 2018. And therefore, with the PPP civic government coming into office, taking office in August, and bringing to this nation its first budget, it is indeed, I would say, a disappointment, an embarrassment, um, a travesty, discriminating against the Amerindian population. How can anyone at this point in time vote against the provision set aside for Amerindian development? Members of the public, I wish to posit that under the APNU AFC government, they have destroyed the economic fabric, the cultural fabric, Indeed, the political fabric among Amerindian, Amerindians across Guyana. Uh, this afternoon, I felt so ashamed of the opposition members of parliament who used their time to um, ask insignificant questions about minor matters such as temporary workers, contracted workers, instead of inquiring into a budget that sought to propel and accelerate development for Amerindians. Today, they have all voted against the capital budget in parliament. That was their last um, opportunity 
to vote for the budget and they chose to vote against it. And this is a trend, it's a habit. It's not anything new. Recalling in 2011, they voted against the Hintelen Road and Airstrip budget set up by the People's Progressive Party Civic. In 2013, they voted against the CSO program, in fact, taking away $300 million from Amerindian development. We had, we've seen how the young people at that time came out in their full force to object against the APNU, well, it was the PNC 1G, and the third force at that time, the AFC, who voted against $300 million from the budget for young people's development. And today, again, we have seen that they have not discarded their habit, but they have gone full force to stifle, to deny, and to destroy development for Amerindians under a PPP civic government. They are vindictive because they feel that they did not um, get the majority of votes, in fact, the support from the Amerindians, so they are intent on discriminating them in, as, as we speak. Thank you.